see that way. Get out of here. Don't worry about that. Actually, that ain't a bad way to pick up insurance, you know. Well, that, this has been talked about. I actually talked about it with Jerry Hellman a couple of weeks ago because everybody had their own take on it. And, the, and, the, uh, and my recollection of that, and Jerry said, well, we had a, there was a cab driver. He was an actor. We had to pay him. We, so so this, was, uh, this was just something we had set up. And I, and I said, no, there wasn't. I said, we had, you had the actor just in case. You had this guy sitting there, and, and, but he wasn't supposed to almost hit us. And there wasn't, you know what I mean? And, and when he did almost do that, then Dusty came up with that line. But we were always in, in preparation for improvisation, always. You know, we were always thinking about what would be said if this goes on and this goes on, and then we go back and do a take and something else would happen. You know, uh, the, we were always in that preparation. And uh, so, so this thing happened, and he said, I'm walking here, I'm walking. That was not a scripted line. And then he even had this other line, it, not a bad way to get insurance, you know, uh, get, get money for insurance. Uh, and when that happened, I remember thinking, don't cut, don't cut, this is it. I was just saying, stay in character, let's stay in character, don't cut, let's keep going. And uh, because it was a mistake, and they could have easily said, okay, let's go it again, you know what I mean? They could have interpreted it in that way, but they let it run out, and uh, then I ran up to John, I said, that's it, did you get that? You know. So, you do, so I remember all of that being uh, specific, so I, I'm pretty sure I was the one that uh, most clearly remembered, because I remember those details of it, you know. Dust, Dust, he's, you know, um, he's a brilliant actor, you know. One of those guys, genius. Well, no, you know, you know, you're doing stuff all the time, and, and with that, the cab's supposed to cross behind us, or cross, who knows? You know what I'm saying? But it's not supposed to hit us. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah, the cab was. Yeah, yeah, it was a zoom lens. It was a uh, long focus uh, shot, and and uh, we were just going to walk up the street. But as I say, some of those things were, we were prepared to improvise almost at any moment, and and we were. When I look back at it, we we had very good taste, you know, we, as uh, in the writing of things. We didn't um, we didn't just talk, you know. We we really knew what we were doing with the characters and with the script and stuff. So, uh, and we were very prepared. I mean, we had a lot of preparation time for that. A lot of uh, we had done a lot of improvisations with John uh, toward fixing scenes the way he wanted them, and it was really John Schlesinger's great. Uh, um, Focus and insights that were th leading the, sh the ship all the way. He was he was just terrific, and uh, and then Dustin and I were allowed. We had this very special chemistry together. We were both kind of. I had written something down recently. Said, I said we were both perfectionists. We had this perfectionist aspect, which can be a pain in the neck, you know. But we both were like that. We both are detail oriented, and we really would. Refocus and think and worry things into being, uh, and then we both worked very very hard for each other's performances. We both cared about each other's performances, so our off-camera work, which was as intense as what we did on camera, and uh, and I think that resulted in a very special chemistry. If you like the Boomer Two, why not subscribe? And to see the full interview, check out our Patreon page to become a member. We upload new exclusive content every single week. And you can access our library easily. Thanks.